Hey guys, Chris Cooley Outdoors here. I got the Raven 9. Uh, we're gonna do its, well, I wanna call it its first shots, but uh, I tried doing a first shots the other day. A little chilly outside, uh, and we were having some issues. I'll kinda show that clip uh, right now, and you guys can check that out. Hey guys, Chris Cooley Shooter here. We've got the Raven 9. Couple of mags. Uh, just gonna set iron sights on here. We're just gonna rip out, get that target out there uh, for shots. So let's uh, okay. So didn't feed. I also was told that it has a uh, bit of a break-in period. So. So yeah, you can see it was a little frustrating the other day. Uh, buddy tried with his mag and different ammo and it just didn't work. So uh, I've heard there's a break in period. So we're gonna, we're gonna see. I got an actual Glock mag in here. Let's see if we can even get it loaded. Nope. It's literally just shooting that mag or that round straight up. It's just not feeding it very well. So, I don't know, let's see if it'll go bang. All right, so it fired, but it also, And it blew the side out of the mag, of the whatever. So what I am gonna do, is I'm just gonna single load it, and hopefully, okay, that definitely looks like it's in there a little bit better. Okay, so I don't know, I don't know what it's going to take, I've heard some guys say there's a break in period, the next guy said I've seen, ah, uh, again guys, sorry, rudely interrupted by a GoPro camera battery, so, um, yeah, I don't know, some guys said there's a break in period, some guys not, I did clean it, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just, it's tight, Needs a break in period. It's not a bad thing. Fun needs to find its groove. I'm okay with that. Um, just wish it would feed a little better. Um, instead of just like sky, I mean, it hits it hard. So um, I am just going to grab a box of loose ammo in it and just single feed it for now. <clears throat> so 
so I don't have to keep reloading mags because that sucks as we all know um, you know and for you guys who are like oh you're using aluminum ammo well yes I know but in my defense uh, I have a lot of it and ammo, 9mm ammo is extremely expensive right now so I'm just using what I have and I was just kind of hoping that it would work so I have no idea if it's even hitting the target or not. So. Okay, well it ejected. Maybe. Okay, man goes in. Again, just jams it right up. That is just really, really, really hard on ammo. Okay, again, ejected. Like this gun feels really nice. A fit and finish is pretty good on it. Like it's nice and narrow, feels good. I got one of the mags that it came with, so maybe, maybe that's the key, but I don't know, there's a little bit, I don't, have you guys noticed a little bit of play, the, yeah. See if it'll feed. I have no idea why it locked back. It's because the mag. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe it's starting to... Maybe that's all it took. A little bit of... A little bit of breaking. Okay, well... Nice. That was super awesome. Hmm. It's kind of a crappy sh first shots video for you guys but uh, I don't know I don't know how everybody else is dealing with theirs if it if they're having similar like those who have had a few issues or not
Why? 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 Why are you doing this to me? And I think I'm shooting a little low. Holy. Why? Like, I don't... I don't understand. Okay, I got like five rounds in here. Okay. Gotta love breaking period, guys. I'm probably gonna have to give her another really good cleaning. So, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe it's the ammo, but buddy, uh, like Woody 306, yeah, Woody 306 there, sorry. He, uh, he was trying it and having Similar issues with with brass cased ammo, so it's it's one of those things. Like, what do you do? Do you just single load? And but I guess you just got to work through it, right? Like you just got to work through it, break it in. I mean, everybody that I read on uh, the Facebook page there, they're uh, they seem pretty pretty happy with it. I mean, these guys are getting a couple hundred rounds through their guns and stuff like that, so. Um, I guess I just got a fight with it. I mean, guys were commenting saying, hey, heads up. That's probably what you're expecting. So I just didn't expect it. I expected more like not failure to eject, but like not fully cycling back or picking up the next round. I thought it'd be more of a just rack it again and, and go. Not so much the, uh, the nose dive and pinch. Think it's been doing but I mean whatever I guess uh, guys got to work through it I mean it's a beautiful firearm so guys should uh, get her uh, get her up and running um, I don't know of any can't wait to take her outside and with some decent weather and and just let her kind of shine. I think it'll be kind of fun once she's broken in. It's just a, it's a slick gun if you feel it. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to uh, putting many around down range. And I kind of want to do a comparison video with you, the FX9 and to the PC Carbine. I think it'll be a really good video. Uh, oh, I was in. That way then uh, guys get an opportunity to uh, see different, uh... okay, I think I am a little, a little low.
Uh, we'll just keep working through it. Dead trigger. Yeah. So I'm feeling. Double feed there. If you guys can see it. Well, kind of a double feed. I will say this, the trigger is awesome, it's made by Trigger Tech. Needs a forward assist. Okay, well, once this mag's done, I'm calling it a night. I'm gonna... Clean this ammo up. Brass everywhere, don't know what is what here. Okay. Well, that's 30, 50 rounds ish kind of thing. Uh, I can see on the target there's starting to be a bit of a hole. 
So basically on a target like this, I was aiming here and they were kind of hitting down here. So I'm aiming there and they're kind of hitting down there. So I'll have to play with the sights later. But yeah, so I know the not the most graceful uh, first shots video you've ever seen. Um, but you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, right? So that's why I'm here doing it. I'm trying to show you guys what I had to deal with. Not, I mean, if, if it's got a breaking period, it's got a breaking period, you know? So every once in a while, it feels like it has shine, uh, like, like really nice. And when you get that trigger going, man, that trigger is slick. So, uh, yeah, I think she just needs to have its time. So, anyways, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you guys checking in and bearing with me on that one. So, you guys take care. Cheers.